And now, I will ask you not to enter any of the rooms on our left or right. Inside are the various parallel lives that your soul is currently engaged in. I believe it would be traumatic for you to experience them at this point in your life. Our destination is at the far end of this hall. That room is the one used to chronicle the past and future of this house. The one I am speaking to now. Where am I? The other rooms had you in them. Why aren't I here? You are, and you are speaking. What I'm about to show you is something that lies at the heart of all of your selves. Please. Prepare yourself for a harsh amount of bitter truth. What you are about to see cannot be unseen. Should I... be worried? No. Not if you took to heart what I have taught you. What do you mean? What have you taught me? To recognize your flaws and work to correct them. I am about to show you your greatest flaw of all. The destruction! Oh boy. I don't understand. How is this my flaw? In a way, it is everyone's flaw. Destruction. To be destruction or to be creation. It can only be one in the end. But what will I destroy? This reality. As you have destroyed many realities before this one. How could I destroy reality? What powers do I have that could lead to this type of devastation? 
Inaction is just as much an act of aggression as taking up arms. And... will this happen? How will I do this? I do not know. But what's important is that it hasn't happened yet, and... Wait... you're saying... we can still stop this? No. Your reality was doomed long ago. All realities cease to exist. The only thing you get to decide is if you aid in the destruction or fight against it. Fight against it? But you said it was doomed! None of this makes any sense! This reality will fade away, and another will take its place. But this does not mean that you can't prevent the loss of future realities. How would I do that if we all die? Come with me. Escape into the soul space. We can take your friends with us. Together, we will protect realities from the ultimate loss. Loss of souls who perish when a soul is bound to the planet by thoughts and obsessions of worldly things. They die with the reality. But a soul that is free of love for the physical, and longs only for the spiritual. But I want to save this reality. What about my mother? My friends? I couldn't just convince them to enter the soul space. I don't even think I can convince my mother that there is a soul space. What do you want to do, Alex? Whatever you decide, I am with you every step of the way. But wait, why is this... Why is this... Because this is your reality, not mine. I just want you to be happy. Essentia, how do you know me? Why do you care so much about me? Because you have been in all of my lives. And at every turn, I have been there for you. Even I have always loved you. I would fight a losing battle for you. <sighs> As Sammy, you helped me when no one else wanted to help me. As Vela, you gave me back my music, the only thing I ever expected to love. Wait! You're saying I'm the asshole that used Vela and... Alex, regardless of how much you have harmed me in any of my parallel lives, I am always here for you. I want to help you be the best that you can be. Can't you help me be the me that saves this reality? Whatever the hell all these things are falling from the sky! It is impossible. But if you would like to try, we may try. But how do you know it's impossible? I can feel the reality breaking apart. I can feel souls fleeing in every direction. This world will soon end. There has to be something we can do, some way to be strong enough to take down whatever is going to destroy this reality. Even I am not strong enough to face what's coming for this reality. But what about me? Bella, you, and the others? It pleases me that you want to fight for something. I know this isn't your usual way. It thrills me to see this passion in you. Together, we can attempt to fight this ender of realities. Just knowing, we will fail, 
Don't be such a downer. If I'm going to die, I at least want to go down swinging. What other choice do I have? I understand now that in your heart, there is no other choice. Perhaps you, Alex, are different from the others. I will stay and fight with you, but if we are going to do this, we must convince your friends to help even I am not at my most powerful. We must complete the mind dungeon before the end comes, and be prepared to fight it. How do we convince them that the world is gonna end? By convincing them that this reality will soon perish, and by making them understand that this world is just a byproduct of that destruction. Okay, so what's this great destruction that will be obliterating reality? It's the same destruction that destroys all realities. And yet, I can't give it a name, but when you see it, you will recognize it. I think I want to go home now. Everyone's probably wondering where I went. Yes, we've been gone quite a while. Really? How long? Five days, three hours, and two minutes. Three minutes. Wait, what? Everyone's probably freaking out! Well, let's, let's get out of here. Now, inside, I believe our just that. Where am I? Why aren't I? You are what I'm about, please. What you are about. Should I? No. What do you mean? To recognize I'm about. Oh.
I don't understand. In a way, it is everyone's destruction. We can all but this as you how could but in a And how will I do this? I do not Wait. No, all we need to But you this but this is how would Come with me. We can take together one to split us. But what about I don't even what do you? But because the I just essential. Why do you? Because you ended up. I have all I... as sad as well. Wait. I want to. Can't you? It is impossible. But how? I can. I can. But there has even up. But it please. It thrills together. Don't. What other? I am. Perhaps you. I will. Even we must. How do we can? I can get. Okay. It's this and yet. Five. Yes. Really? Five days. Wait, wait. Now, in I believe our desk that. Where am I? Why are you are? But I'm a please. But you are. Should I? No. What do you? To write, I'm a. Understand. In a way, destroy. We can only be. But this, as you have destroyed many realities before this. How could how in a And how will I? I do. Wait. No, all reality. But you. This, but this does not mean. How would I? Come with me. We can take your together. One is but a soul. But what, what about my? I don't. What do you? But wait. Because this is I just essential. Why do you? Because the end of every. I have all. As sad as well. Wait! I want to help you. Can't you from what it is a but how do I can I can feel but there even up but if we it thrill together we Don't be What other choice do I have? I understand perhaps you I will even up we must How do we can I can get Okay, so what it's this and yet I think Yes we Really? I did
So, uh, how do we get back to Frankton? I'm not sure. Maybe we can take a bus? A uh, bus? I really hate public transportation. Ugh. My mom never picked me up from school. She always made me take a White Hound bus. I have seen many realities, and this one is by far the least prepared for public transportation. Perhaps if you lived in a better reality, your country would be more equipped to handle traversing the countryside. Yeah, I'll uh, get on that.
This is for you.
What the hell are the Frank and Popo doing here? Mom! Are you okay? What's going on? Alex, where the hell have you been? I was so worried! Uh, ma'am, is this the boy you reported missing? Missing? You reported me missing? I haven't seen you for days, and none of your friends knew where you were. Sometimes a panicked mother is worse than impending doom. Uh, hey, I I'm sorry, I... I I'm sorry, Mrs. Eagleston. Alex was with me. My car broke down, and he was kind enough to walk with me to the auto body shop and help me out. He's been with me and has been perfectly safe. Who are you? Why is your hair green? Alex, why are you hanging out with a woman with green hair? Mom, that's the latest fashion. Everyone does it. It's the 90s. Multicolored hair is the bomb, or whatever. Yes, my hair is the bomb. Okay. Well, if you're safe, then I'll be heading back to the station. Another case solved. I am the greatest cop on the force. Have a good day. Stay out of trouble. I'm watching you. Well, now that you're safe, I can tell you the good news. I got a job. That's awesome. What are you doing? More programming. I got hired by Moon Macrosystems, developing Y2K-compatible versions of their software. Basically, I'm rebranding all their products as Y2K-compatible and selling them for twice the cost. Y2K? Yeah, you know. That theory that at the turn of the new year, all computers will stop working? People are afraid the world is going to end, so we might as well capitalize on that fear. Should we be worried about Y2K, Mom? Yes. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Not unless you're a machine. I wouldn't worry. Why would I be a machine? Why would you say something like that? What? No, I meant... Never mind. You're quite unusual, honey. Alex... Can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, not right now. Um, yeah, we need to work on something. Work on what? Homework. Homework? Wow. You are not helping. I'm sorry. I could not resist. Okay, so you do have a sense of humor. 
wasn't sure if being part android took out the fun parts of your personality. I can be very funny. Would you like to hear my stand-up routine? What? Really? Now? The world is gonna end! This is no time for jokes! Knock, knock. <sighs> okay, who's there? Y2K. Y2K who? Y2K. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so... We should begin by asking your friends to join us. Although there is a possibility that they may be smart enough to enter the soul space before the end. Do you really think they do that? It is a possibility. We must convince them to aid us, as we are about to die fighting a force that cannot be stopped. Okay, if we're gonna do this, I need you to stop reminding me that you think this is a lost cause. I'm determined to try and stop this. Whatever it is. Okay. I am sorry. I did not mean to upset you. I am here to help you with whatever you need. I think it would be wise for me to speak with Bella alone, as we are one and the same. Perhaps you should call her and arrange a meeting? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that right now. Hey, Vela, it's Alex. Uh, I have something I need to talk to you about in person, and... Alex, where the hell have you been? It's just absolutely terrible. Hey, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I met... Alex, didn't you hear? Hear what? What's wrong? Two nights ago, Rory committed suicide. What? He's gone. His mother found him. <laughs> it's too screwed up to even think about. We went to his funeral last night. Where the hell were you? I... no, no, no. Remember when I touched the android? She... she took me away into her stupid mind dimension and... None of that matters anymore, Alex! Rory is dead! Why the hell would he kill himself? <laughs> he, he was hurting from losing his sister still. I wish there was something more we could have done. If, 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 if only we'd seen the warning signs. If, if only we had tried more. It was somehow cold and hot at the same time. My heart had both accelerated and stopped. That was a mess of emotions. What the actual hell had I done? I was so stupid. He tried to reach out to me. He asked me for help. Me. For some reason, he had picked me as his confidant, and I turned him away. 
Were my own personal whims so important that I couldn't see he was begging for help? A year ago, I would have thought, don't be so hard on yourself, or if someone wants to die, there isn't anything you can do to stop it. I would have convinced myself it was somehow not my fault. I wouldn't have allowed myself to feel guilty. Why was I so afraid of feeling guilty? Why did I continue to convince myself that nothing was ever my fault? Sometimes things are your fault. And sometimes you're supposed to feel bad, supposed to feel low, supposed to feel like you let the world down. You, you, you! Or in this case, me, me, me! I wanted to tell Vela he reached out to me. I wanted to tell her I had been cruel. I had been so selfish. And then I was selfish again. I didn't tell Vela anything. I told her I was sorry. I cried with her. I did my best to not let her know I felt guilty. Why? Because I wanted her to like me. I needed everyone to like me. I needed to be a solid guy in everyone's book. No. I just needed to seem like a good person to myself. Self-love disguised with gifts and lies does not make a good person. Inward appearances? If I wanted to like myself, I needed to be someone worth liking. Grief. It can make you forget about all the things you thought were important. When was the last time I bought a new record? When was the last time I turned on a video game? Read a book? Debated with a friend about something I didn't really understand? Life is all about balance, and when something terrible happens, the scale tips towards the tragedy, and all things previously thought to be important fall out of view. Time goes on, and we were running out of time. The Essential 2000 worked hard to console me. She reminded me of Vela. I needed to call Vela. I need to bring myself back to a functioning level and actually do something. Hey, Vela. Uh, listen, I need you to come over. Do you want me to call the others? No, I... I think it'd be best if I just told you this alone. I'll tell the others, but I think you need to hear it first. Okay, I'll be right over. You! You're the android from the van! Bella, this is the Essentia 2000. Essentia 2000. Hello, Bella. It's nice to see you. Likewise. What's going on here? Whew, I don't even know where to begin. It's so complicated. Alex, please go up to your room. I would like to speak to Vela alone. Oh, yeah, sure. I saw in the dark, two floors below me, two women of the same soul spoke about the fate of the world. Do you know how weird it was thinking that? No, you really can't. Well, maybe now you can that you're in the same situation. One soul, but many people. In the darkness, thinking about the end of all reality, knowing inside myself that all of this was true, these concepts, previously absurd, were now mysteriously vivid in every detail to the point where I felt I could grasp them in my hands. I pictured myself alone in the universe. Everyone was gone. And then she floated by. Sammy. 
but she wasn't Sammy. She was Vela. But also not Vela. She was the Ascension 2000, Oda, Yuzu, and Nyla. Somehow these people were linked by their soul. Whatever that meant. What did it mean to share a soul but be a different person? What did the Ascension 2000 call it? A parallel life? I thought of Buddhists and their concept of past lives. Before I was Alex, I was a pirate or a poor village girl living in Croatia. But in a parallel life, I was Alex, a pirate, and a little girl in Croatia. I lived all of my lives at once, in distant but similar realities. Similar was only an assumption. I realized now how little I knew about reality. I have spoken with Bella, and shown her irrefutable proof of my identity. I've explored the soul space, and I've seen the beginnings of destruction to many realities. I have seen the remains of many souls, and Alex, this scares the living hell out of me. I, I will do anything I can to help stop whatever's coming for us. You spoke to us in the past, specifically to Bella, about a feeling that fate brought you two together. I am that fate. This was meant to happen. I do not know if we can stop whatever is coming, but I know that we are meant to try. So what's next? What do we do? What's the plan? We should get the others on board. And then we should train in the Mind Dungeon. Alex, you have seen what is coming for us, and you know better than anyone else. The only way if we can get as far into the Mind Dungeon as possible, and learn as many abilities as possible, we may stand a chance of dying with dignity. Alex, what did you see in the Mind Dungeon? What did the end look like? Why did she say that? I know that it's related to me, that somehow I am the destruction. I might just be a piece of it. I might be all of it. I can't say, but I know I can stop it from destroying everything I love. Alex, I believe the best course of action now would be to go and find each one of your friends individually and talk to them about the current situation. Remember that the better you do, the more Mind Dungeon Keys you will unlock, and the stronger you will become. It is vital that all of your friends are on without achieving the highest level by the time the end comes. Our futile efforts will be even more futile. But we don't even know when the end is coming! It could be tomorrow for all we know! Y2K? Could the turn of the millennium be the date? I don't know, maybe. What do you think, Android Me? It is possible. I've had a weird sense of impending doom ever since Rory and Michael mentioned it. That might explain why 99 has gone to shit. I've been looking at the newspaper a lot lately. Well, I suppose having some estimated date is good enough for me. Alex, you can return to the Mind Dungeon any time to see how many days remain. Wait, what? You mean the date was real? It's been so many numbers and zeros. How do I even calculate that into a date? I could not see the number myself, but if you take me there and tell me the number, I can help you convert it into days. 
Well, damn. Why didn't you tell me that sooner? Well, she didn't. Lay off of her. We're not perfect, you know. Is that your new thing? Referring to her as you and etc. etc. Yes. Okay, fine. Well, I'm gonna go find everyone and get to work on them. Good luck. Good luck. I knew I needed to find my friends individually and convince them that the end You know, I had a dream last night. In my dream, I saw my brother, but my brother was you. Cute little kid grew up to be an ugly ginger like yourself. But you came to me and asked me for a favor. Is that why you're here? It is. So, what's the deal? I'm guessing it's something serious. The world's going to end. I saw it in my mind dungeon. Remember the android from that van? Well, that android is Vela, Sammy, and a bunch of other people in a parallel life. She showed me all of these things, and I know now that the world will end soon. I want to train in the mind dungeon and be ready to fight this thing when it comes for us. You down? Are you serious? Very. <laughs> Dude, you gave me hope again. You brought a sense of adventure back in my life that I thought had vanished with my little brother. I didn't know. Man, meeting you and your friends was the best thing to ever happen to me. Without meeting you, I'd be so oblivious to everything that's out there. I'm glad I was able to help. I had no idea I had that sort of effect on anyone. Well, 
Just let me know when you're ready to start training. <laughs> oh yeah! I'd see. You know, I had the strangest dream last night. My brother was older. Probably in his 30s, except he, he kind of looked like you. Anyway, I was wandering around. I wanted something of his to take home. Something that he handled every day, or that had been close to his body. But it couldn't be anything important that he would miss. So, I stole one of his pencils. You know what's weird? I feel like I've heard this story before. Why is that? I don't know. Anyway, I took the pencil and started drawing all over the wall. What did you write? <laughs> it was pantaloon over and over again. Pantaloon, pantaloon. So anyway, my brother comes into the room and he just looks at me like he caught me naked or at least in my pantaloons. <laughs> and he starts crying. Just sobbing. I start crying too. <laughs> and then I woke up. <laughs> Weird dream, right? Yeah. Anyway, I know the world's going to end. I'm gonna do my best to help you. What? How did you figure that out? You'll figure it out. You're smart enough. You have all the clues you need. What? <laughs> the feeling of hope grew as I realized everyone I asked to help me said yes. Did I really deserve everyone's help? Nope, not at all. Maybe this is why I was exceedingly grateful. I thought about Michael. He was the only one I hadn't seen since I returned from my trip into the Ascension 2000s. Where had he gone? Why hadn't anyone else seen him? Alex, come to the forest meadow just south of Frankton. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be right there.
you been? I've been looking for you for the past week. I called your house, knocked on your door, and no one ever answered. None of that matters anymore. It's so trivial. Don't you see? No, of course you don't. I wouldn't have a week ago. What happened? You sound different. Your voice is different. What's going on? Alex, something has happened to me. I am transformed. I've come to understand certain things. I've been exposed to the truth. What do you mean? What happened? Something happened to me. Something very startling at first. But now... Now it's just incredible. Are you gonna tell me what happened, or are you just gonna keep acting like Vela? I saw the soul space. I met a parallel self. I lived so many lives. I am everything. Uh, what? Alex, I entered the mind dungeon alone, and I wandered and wandered. Soon I stumbled upon a hall of names. Each of these names was etched into a door. Inside each of these doors was a life. My life. For nine days straight, I experienced what it was like to be my parallel selves. Alex, to experience a parallel life in real time is to become an oxymoron. To be something and not be something, both at once. I am me, but I am also her or him. I have my memory. The very act of experiencing a parallel life is mind shattering. When we are born, we immediately begin developing a series of biases and defenses that help us ground our lives in the reality that we invent for ourselves. In doing so, we lose sight of the temporary nature of life. We forget everything. We lose track of where we came from. And only experiencing a parallel life disassembles all physiological constraints that have been built up over the years. We see life for what it is, a three-sided box that only allows us to look forward, not back into our own minds where the true nature of reality exists. Do you know what the funniest part is? What? I know what you've come to ask me. And I know that I'll say yes, even though I always turn you down. Do you realize how many times we've had this conversation? It's like clockwork. I have a friend. This friend continuously hurts another friend of ours, and soon he realizes his flaws. He soon asks me to try and save him from self-destruction. Every time I say no, and every time you destroy our reality. Maybe it took for me to realize what not helping a friend can do to that friend, but I'm in. Michael, did you see how reality ends? No. All of my lives end with you destroying everything. But I'm never there to see firsthand how you do it. Crap. I was really hoping you knew the answer. I'm surprised you're not alarmed by what I've told- I think you should meet our new android friend. Alex, do you feel the air? Do you see the stars? Their positions have changed. Did you notice the colors? Everything is wrong. This isn't what it was like.
Something is wrong. Something is... Michael, I... I don't know. Maybe the very feeling of being me has changed. I can't really put my finger on it, but... Something is wrong. You're right. Do you ever remember things wrong? No. I don't think so. What does that mean? Never mind. I suppose not. Let's go back to your house. As we walked back to my house, a strange feeling of nostalgia overwhelmed me. It was as if I hadn't seen Michael in a really long time. As if the Michael I'd spent the past year with had been broken, but now he was fixed. This was the Michael I remembered. In the cooling winter air, I had a series of memories return to me. All of them involved Michael, but none of them felt real as if I'd experienced them in a far-off, distant life. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Although, in a way, we have met many times before, both in the past of our parallel lives, and in the future of our parallel lives. I am going to make this brief. Starting tomorrow, we will train in the Mind Dungeon. It is now the 24th of November, and... But tomorrow's Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving? Tomorrow? Yeah, and so we should start on Friday. What about shopping on Friday? J just kidding. S seriously, seriously, just kidding. Many of my parallel lives were Canadian, so this is somewhat a surprise to me. As I experienced Canadian Thanksgiving a few weeks ago. All right, fair enough. Friday we begin. The promise of a future is something I'd grown to take for granted. Now, with the threat of impending doom, I realize how silly it was to do so. And what else? I've lived the past 25 years knowing nothing but a series of tomorrows. In fact, I'll do that tomorrow. It'd become my mantra over the past two and a half decades. Tomorrow, there may be nothing. Today, maybe the last day. This knowledge triggered something in me to fall away. It was as if the core of my personality dropped away and nothing came in to fill the hole. It was like being hungry all the time except food, mindless fun, and things that normally bring happiness had lost their appeal. The knowledge that this was all temporary had stripped me of the ability to experience basic human pleasures. I craved from a sense of normal, a desire to go back. No, that's not right. I didn't want to go back. 
I went back, I'd be the same person I used to be. Selfish, unfocused, lazy. I had no purpose. I was a blank slate that was covered in war paint. I was going to defeat whatever was coming from my reality. Even if it was me, I would defeat myself. What that meant, I didn't know. But I was prepared to do whatever it took. I liked what I was becoming. What I didn't like was wasting time eating turkey, cranberry sauce, and mashed potatoes. It's 7.05 a.m. This is the earliest you've been up since... <sighs> Feels good. I was so excited to get to the mine dungeon, I barely slept last night. Impressive. Well, get to work. Remember, you can choose to go to the Mine Dungeon or visit your friends in town. You can only do one or the other. We have about a month until the New Year comes, and it's hard to do both in a day. Try and spend as much time in the Mine Dungeon as you can. If you don't train hard enough, you might not be strong enough by the time the end comes. Got it. Today I'll... So, I've been reading the newspaper a lot lately, trying to comb it for there's something I've noticed. Has anyone else felt like the amount of screwed up stuff happening lately has escalated? What do you mean? Like, last year, I swear I never heard about girls going missing, dying in water towers, people shooting up their schools. And now what? I swear, every time I catch the news, there's a new tragedy. It's like people are going out of their way to find new ways to die. When you experienced your parallel lives, were there... Hmm. That is a very interesting question. I am afraid that even I, a being who is aware the defining core mechanics of each reality is so different that there is very little point in comparing them. The norm for, say, my life as Oda, compared to my life as Yuzu, are so starkly different. In Oda's life, I longed for family that was never around. In that reality, families were not close. Whereas in Yuzu's reality, people lived with their families and never moved apart. People who did not speak with their families were considered to be outcasts. <sighs> Great. So do you think things are getting worse? I believe things are always as they've been. 
Only you are just now old enough to notice how harsh reality can be. Did you find out the question, Alex? No. Yours. Boy, can you do any damn thing right? for you two being the same soul or whatever 
don't think it feels real when you say it like that. I imagine that if Bella were to suddenly become me, she would feel very... weird. I am constantly experiencing the emotions of all of my parallel lives. I am often sad, happy, excited, and aroused at the same time. Aroused? I experience every human state. <laughs> okay, moving on. No, no, I want to hear more about this. Is this why you sometimes get a look of bliss on your face and stare off into the distance? That's when somewhere in a parallel life she's kicking your ass for asking such stupid questions, Alex. <laughs> Easy there. I wonder what I'm like in my parallel life. I have to say, this parallel life stuff blows. Compared to the concept of past lives, this isn't very exciting. If we had past and future lives, we would get to be something different in the future. Now I just get to be me and not realize I'm so many other things at the same time. Perhaps you too should get an Android shell for your physical form. Yeah! I could be like you. Except I'd have more of a personality. Perhaps my problem is that I have too much personality as I am always dealing with a variety of stupid people at once. For example, I am currently a 12-year-old Scottish boy who just asked out a girl on his first date. What? Girl, that's crazy! I've only ever been Scottish one other time. It was not fun. Any way to tell what I'm like in a parallel life? Only if you venture far enough into your mind dungeon. But then you end up like Michael, so I wouldn't recommend it. I wonder if I'm a super kick-ass man with bulging biceps. Is that desirable? I don't know. Is it not? I like to pretend you're a really feminine and timid girl in one of your parallel lives, Alex. I think we're going to get along, Chandra. 